Hello everyone, my name is Shino Iwami. I would like to talk to you about methodology to grasp OSS as open source program offices. First of all, I have a notification about intellectual properties. Although I am working as an expert in NEC Corporation, I give this presentation in a private position because this presentation includes the analysis before I joined NEC Corporation. However, I have more than 20 years experience as an engineer and I have addressed data science for technology management in the latter half of my career during the current trend of evidence-based policy making. Truth, I believe that I can give you some hints about your open source program office. The figure in this slide was performed to overview the field of robotics and to discover the emerging technologies using databases of academic papers. In the upper figure, the analysis made a citation network and extracted fields such as mobile robot, manipulator, and medical robot. In the lower figure, the analysis discovered the field of perovskite solar cell as a rapid emerging technology. This presentation has four parts. The first section is introduction. In that section, I will talk about open source program offices and the scope and the framework of this of analysis in this presentation. The next three sections will introduce methodologies and the result of analysis. Open source program office, office has several roles, which are classified into outside, inside, and both. For outside, contribution to the OSS committee are required. Word insights, open source program office promotes strategy and the utilization of OSS, fostering open source culture. Additionally, it has role to communicate between outside and inside and it maintains compliance, compliance related to OSS. The scope of this presentation is to provide methodologies for making a strategy. Especially, I use quantitative analysis that is called data science with network analysis, machine learning, and natural language processing. The merit of the data science are to obtain established evidence with automatic operations. However, data science requires a large number of data, so it takes time before the data has been stored. For discovering tiny signs, similar to intuition, qualitative analysis, such as interview and observation, has an advantage. The demerit of the qualitative analysis is the increase of manual work. Next, I explain the framework for analysis in this presentation. For making a strategy of OSS, we often want to grasp the latest situation of society, technology, 
OSS competitors and our belonging organization. I proposed the framework to seek about society technology competitors. This comes from the basic about basic and simple analysis, 3C analysis. The 3C analysis is to consider business from three positions. Customer, competitors, and company. Regarding OSS, the concept of OSS community does not match with any of the three positions. OSS community is like a society, but OSS, OSS community is having participants from competitors and company. Thus, this presentation proposes the framework that OSS community is added to the conventional three positions. From this slide, I introduce three, three methodologies. The first analysis is about trend of society and technology. In order to make a decision which field my organization works on, this analysis gives an overview of OSS and uh, methodology. For this analysis, I explain data, science, data source methodology, results, and findings. In the methodology, I often use TFIDF and cosine similarity for other analysis. This slide shows the steps of this methodology. At the first step, videos are selected. In this analysis, app WWDC 2021, Google I.O. 2021, Microsoft Build from 2018 to 2021, and SES 2021 are used. The reason of several years for Microsoft is that I can discover videos for several years. In addition, keynotes of SES include a keynote of Microsoft. So I expect to compare keynotes of the same company between different events. At the second step, the selected videos are played. And the text data of the sound are retrieved via a function of sound recognition. In this analysis, Google Docs was used. When you perform this analysis, you had better to use text data of transcription if you can get it, because analysis will become more accurate. However, using a sound recognition has a merit that we can get text data from every video and sound format. Now, virtual event increase and we can access more events easily. So the opportunity to get more text data are increasing. At, at the third step, nouns were extracted with natural language toolkit for English sentences in Python programming. Natural Language Toolkit is called NLTK shortly. When you extract words, 
Lentamizer is better than stemmer for making words original. The step one, two, and three are performed for each keyword, keynotes. Then the steps four and five are performed once comparing between keynotes. As the first step, nodes are scored with DFIDF. At the fifth step, cosine similarity are computed and the results are drawn as a heat map. Next, I explain about TFIDF and cosine similarity. After extracting nodes, if you collaborate with data scientists, please remember only the expertise and their purpose. Data scientists must know well the tips to use these technologies, and you will just ask data scientists to do so. DFIDF computer score to identify feature words comparing between several documents. DFIDF gives us high score to word that appear frequently in one document. Meanwhile, DFIDF gives a low score to words that appear frequently frequently in all documents. For example, frequent words such as I, my, me, the, of are given a low score, and they are called stop words. For implementing TFIDF, the Python module Scikit-learn is available. The scikit-learn has a setting that it can remove stop words before computing TFIDF. Cosine similarity is a score of similarity between documents. On this slide, I write down sentence X and Y, but we can apply similarity for documents thinking one document as one sentence. In addition to cosine similarity, there are several similarities such as jacquard index, dice coefficient, Simpson coefficient, and others. From my experience, cosine similarity is one of the best similarities. The Python module scikit-learn also includes the function of cosine similarity. These are resolved by computing cosine similarity after computing TFIDF. These colorful figures are heat map that show the result of, of cosine similarity. Apart from this heat map, the analysis output the list of known ordered by scores of TFIDF. In the previous slide, I indicate cosine similarity that uses zero or one for each word. The left heat map of cosine similarity is computed with simple counting of frequency instead of zero or one in the previous slide. The light heat map of cosine similarity is computed with TFIDF instead of 0 of 1. On the heat map, red means high similarity and blue means low similarity. From the list of feature words by TFIDF, AI software, software development, cloud, mobile, and cybersecurity were extracted as frequent topics. 
as outstanding topics, drone, game, and sports were extracted from Bryson Kino. There is the word of Starbucks from Microsoft, and it means digitalization of conventional non-IT equipment. Investig investigating feature words related to a line of low similarity on the heat map, we can know irregular topics. The upper line indicate Microsoft 2020 that has unusual topics about COVID-19. The lower line indicate GM that has different topic from the other organizations. GM referred to electric vehicle and battery. Investigating feature was related to, to a line of high similarity on the heat map. We can know organizations having similar topics. Microsoft spoke similar topics except the year 2020. Best Buy and Walmart spoke similar topics naturally because they are belonging to the same industry. In summary, this methodology can extract technological trends and the changes of technological trends from keynotes of worldwide events. Again, the extracted topics for trends of society and uh, technology in this analysis are AI, software development, cloud, mobile, cybersecurity, drone, game, sports, digitalization, medical ID, electric vehicle. The second analysis about the key groups of competitors. In order to make a decision, whether my organization becomes a leader, follows a leader, or withdraw, this analysis gives a methodology to know competitors and their alliance by topics about the OSS. For this analysis, I explain theoretical background, methodology, data source, result and findings. Before introducing the methodology, I explain the theoretical background. Regarding forms of sellers in a market, there are four forms in the economics, perfect competition, monopoly competition, oligopoly, and monopoly. For monopoly, some countries prepare antitrust law. In the forms of oligopoly and monopolistic competition, I have heard that business tend to be stable in a class of technology management. For example, I consider that operation system of computer are provided by two companies, Microsoft and Apple. Moreover, operation systems of mobile phone are provided by two countries, Apple and Google. As an ongoing example, 
strong seller of cloud computing as three, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. In addition to four forms, there is a form of excessive competition, which is caused, caused by too many sellers or selling too cheap. In that class, the market of Japanese home appliance around 2,000 pence was said to be under excessive competition. There were mainly eight makers, Hitachi, Panasonic, Sony, Toshiba, Fujitsu, Mitsubishi, Sharp, and NEC. Now, several competitors, uh, several companies withdraw the market. And uh, the, the other companies joined. So there are still too many companies. In short, for making a decision to join, collaborate, late or withdraw, we must grasp the situation of key players in the market. Next, I explain about the methodology. Data were retrieved from Microsoft Academic Knowledge. The first step is that data are retrieved via academic knowledge API and the formatted data are inserted into the local database. The second step is that the number of paper citations and the co-authoring relations for each organization are counted. The third step is that the figures of bar graphs of each numbers and uh, co-authoring networks are drawn by year. The fourth step is that the figures are organized in order to find insight. In the co-authoring network, the top Five organization and the, their must their top four co-authoring organization are drawn. Namely, co-authoring networks have at most twenty-five organizations in a figure. For this analysis, the main sele mainly selected topic is block blockchain as a topic deeply related to OSS. Current topics and the child topics of blockchain or Microsoft academic knowledge are also analyzed. Additionally, open source software, open source hardware, open innovation, and open data were added to the analyzed topic. This slide shows the characteristic result. Please pay attention to the grayscale co-authoring figures on the lower half of this slide. Here, the co-authoring relation means type of good partners. Thus, this figure shows several stages from decentralization to oligopoly. As a model case before the analysis about OSS related topics, the case of AI shows the growth from decentralization to oligopoly, as shown in figures 
of Co-Sanic Network on the Blue Arrow. Applying the blockchain for this timeline, the growth and current status of blockchain are revealed. IBM and Alibaba Group became leaders about blockchain. In the same way, open source hardware, open source software, open innovation, and open data were plotted on the timeline about AI. These topics are too conceptual, so there is no sign of oligopoly. To observe the growth of partnership by co-authoring networks, one requirement is to be specific technology. Then, these figures show about all analyzed topics. From the horizontal axis, the growth to oligopoly is related to data size, that is number of records derived from Microsoft academic knowledge. That is the number of results when you search a topic on the Microsoft academic knowledge. On the previous slide, one requirement to grow, grow to oligopoly is to be specific technology. However, from the left figure to specific technology, such as Hyperledger, Ethereum, and Bitcoin does not show a growth to oligopoly. In this presentation, it is difficult to check top organization for all topics. To the usage of this methodology will, will be to check top organization after identify, identify, identifying the state of you are interested in technology. In summary, this methodology can extract from flow from the error of decentralization to the error of oligopoly about specific technologies. The third analysis is about portfolio management by countries. In order to discover markets related to my own technology, this analysis gives a methodology to repair strengths and weaknesses. The analysis about security is indicated as an example. Thus, I introduce the analysis as a methodology. For this analysis, I explain data source methodology and the result. Next, I explain about the methodology. Data were retrieved with the query of security from Web of Science provided by Clarivate Analytics. The first step is retrieving bibliographic data from database. The second step is that the citation network is composed. The third step is getting the maximum component graph. The fourth step is clustering by Numa method. The fifth step is automatic extraction of future words with TFIDF. 
manual ident identification of topics and the plotting positions by topics and countries. This figure and the table show small fields in a large field of security. After clustering a citation network, one group is colored with one color. A line means an edge, which indicates a relation. Topics were identified manually. Security include other than security. The latest, largest group colored by orange has a topic of IoT and cloud. The second largest group colored by light blue is about food science. The slightly far distance between orange and light blue imply that the relation between both topics are weak. It's However, based on the digitalization, such as agricultural IT, food science must have an opportunity to collaborate with cybersecurity. The third largest group, colored by yellow, is about energy, energy security, which is deeply related to cybersecurity. The clustering tool pro provides number of country and average year when user event happened. Using these data, each topic can be plotted on the chart of portfolio management, like this slide. Technologies on the positions of stars are emerging and learning money and technologies on the position of cash cow are the right technology and learning money. Technologies on the right half of the chart will be strengths. Result can be plotted like this slide. It is considered that the differences between strengths and weaknesses indicate opportunity of business. The United States is strong in food security. So the United States has an opportunity to export something about food security. Russia is strong in security game. So Russia has an opportunity to export something about security game. The Japan is strong in energy security, so Japan will have an opportunity to export, the, ex, export something about energy security. This analysis was performed before I joined to OSS related team, but I think the methodology can be applied for OSS. In summary, 
This methodology can extract technological strengths and weaknesses and find market candidates. Lastly, in this presentation, one analysis about trends of society and technology, and two analyses about competitors. In the future, I will continue to develop other analyses and present them to the extent avoiding conflict of interest. Thank you for your listening.